Hi, good afternoon, Grade 12s. It's very nice to be with you again. Um, I'm looking at two topics today, um, two source-based topics. They're both, well, the one falls in the Cold War topic, and the other one is um, power movements in America. Um, the last time I was there, I was looking at Cold War with you. I explained to you what the Cold War is. So I just quickly need to go through that again with you because Angola, the theme that we're looking at today, falls right in the middle of Cold War. It also um, has a lot of other countries trying to get involved there to either stop the spread of communism or to implement communism or um, to stop various political parties there. So the first um, thing that I need to just quickly go through with you is we're doing Angola. If we go to the slides, we can see where Angola is. You can see Angola is just above um, German Southwest Africa, okay, or Southwest Africa, which is Namibia today. Um, this is a South African protectorate. Now, the problem is that Angola borders Southwest Africa. So in other words, South Africa is going to be involved in this fight. It's also what is referred to as the border war very often because of this area was um, referred to as an extension of South Africa's border. Then we have Zambia over here next to it. That is going to be um, in in America's frame of, of reference. And then right over here at the top, we've got the Congo, which is also gonna be involved. So those are the African countries involved. And then we need to look at the international countries that are involved as a result of Cold War. Um, so firstly, what is the Cold War? Um, grade 12s, remember the Cold War was a fight from 1945 up until 1989 between um, America and Russia. It was a fight of ideology. It was cold um, because they, they couldn't directly fight against each other, America and Russia, because obviously they both have nuclear weapons. So in other words, they had to find other ways of fighting. So they either fo fought between, with um, with propaganda, which is trying to make out that the, ideolo the other ideology is bad. Um, they fought using um, money. If you throw money at the problem, hopefully um, a country will become capitalistic if you give them enough money, or become communistic if you give them enough money. And the other thing is, they fought in what was referred to as proxy wars. So fighting communism and capitalism in other areas. Okay, in other areas in the world. And so Angola is a proxy war. Okay, Angola is um, where America and Russia and Cuba and South Africa got involved in that area to try and stop the spread of communism, contain communism, or try and implement capitalism. Okay, so the first thing I just quickly, very briefly want to go through is that Angola was actually a Portuguese colony. Okay, that's why they, sp they speak Portuguese there. So um, Ang Angola went through a period of fighting the colonist, okay, which is trying to get rid of an outside force, in right smack bang in the middle of the Cold War. Now, if you look um, over here, I've, I've quickly just I've put on, on, on a page for you guys quickly what was going on during this time period. So we're looking at when Angola became... Um, independent and when the civil war broke out. So this is what's going on in the world at the moment and this is why it's a cold war fight, okay? You can see here, yeah, I'm sure you remember this from the beginning of the year, that at this point Eastern Europe had already fallen to communism with the satellite states, okay? So that's Hungary and Romania and Czechoslovakia and East Germany, et cetera. All of those countries had, fought, had fallen to communism. So communism had taken hold there, okay? Um, at this stage, Mao is in power um, in China. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys um, actually have done China as a theme. Um, Mao is, is in power in China, and he, at this stage, when the Cold War starts in Angola, is actually bad friends with Russia. Okay, they actually are no longer friends, particularly because Russia has a leader, Khrushchev, which Mao doesn't like. Okay, so in other words, Russia and China are not friends, so they're going to try and stop each other. Okay. Cuba, at this, at this stage, has also become, a com become communistic as a, after the missile crisis. So Cuba, which is right below America, is also communistic. So in other words, um, Russia okay, 
and Cuba are friends because obviously they are both communistic. Cuba also has the belief that they would like to try and spend, um, uh, try and make as many countries as possible communistic. So that's why they're going to get involved in Angola. And um, South Africa is also going to get involved here because um, they are trying to hang on to apartheid as, as um, long as possible. Okay, The ANC, who is in South Africa fighting against apartheid, is actually getting help from Russia. Okay, So in other words, they are going to try and stop Russia in Angola because otherwise it has a, a repercussion on South Africa. So in other words, because Mao is against Russia and South Africa is against Russia, China is going to be friends with the USA and South Africa is going to be friends with the USA. So you can see here yeah, just briefly, very briefly, looking at what is going on in the world at this moment, you can see how Angola is going to be thrown in the middle of communism versus capitalism, or more importantly, in the middle of America and Russia fighting each other. Okay, So that is the context that we are looking at as far as Angola is concerned. We have to look at how this fight took place. We have to look at why this fight, this fight took place and which countries got involved and how they got involved. So that is the first thing that I'm going to look at today with you. Then I'm going to do some a source-based activity because remember Angola is source-based. So we're going to look at a source-based activity and then hopefully I will be able to get into power with you as well, black power, looking at some sources there as well. Okay, um, great twabs, remember this is in the middle of Cold War. So in other words, it's going to be a fight between communism and capitalism. That is what's going to go on in Angola. Okay, And that's why it says on my slide that this is the case study is Angola Okay, in the Cold War. So once again, we just quickly look at the next slide. You'll see where Angola is. Okay, You'll see where Angola is. Um, then... The concepts that I, I went through with you over here, um, you can see what a Cold War is an ideological con uh, conflict between the USA and the Soviet Union. Ideological means a fight between communism and capitalism. Okay, that is what ideolo ideological is. Communism is something that you should have um, learned about last year in grade 11, um, and we picked it up this year when we started Cold War. Basically, communism is that when the government is fully um, responsible for its citizens. So there's no private ownership, um, there is no profit orientations, um, there is no, um, yeah, no private ownership, no profit orientation. Basically, uh, you are given what the government wants you to have. Okay, socialism is a mixture between, we're not really going to deal with socialism today, but just so you know what it is. Um, Neo-colonialism, that is something that we are going to deal with today. I'm going to come back to that. Okay. And the one thing, number eight, that we're going to look at, which is going to have major bearing on our topic today, is a civil war. Because a civil war is going to break out here. Okay. And a civil war is when civilians get involved in a fight. And that's going to have major impacts on the economy of Angola, and it's going to have major impacts on refugees and all types of things. Okay, so those are just some concepts. I'll touch on them um, as I carry on with this theme. Um, so basically, you can see, I've, I've spoken to you about this already, um, America and Russia are going to get involved here. They're going to get involved to try and stop each other's ideology. You must bear in mind that Angola is very rich in minerals, okay, which is going to have bearings on both countries. Um, Angola is rich in oil and diamonds and uranium and copper and fishing, etc. And so, therefore, it's a very, very valuable colony. Okay, so that is why it has be it has value for both Russia and America, and that is why both those countries are going to get involved here to stop the spread of communism or capitalism, and whoever obviously helps Angola will get those trade routes going with each other, okay? Um, so, like I said to you, Angola is a Portuguese colony, okay? And there was a civil war that was going on in Angola before the Cold War um, took place there, okay? And what is a civil war? Basically, when the people of the country are fighting. Now, 
the period before the Cold War was seen as the civilians fighting against Portugal, trying to get Portugal out of the country. And during that period, where we're going to lay the foundation for what's going to carry on now is we've got three parties. Three parties are fighting against the Portuguese. Three, okay? You've got the MPLA, and you've got UNITA, and you've got the F. Um, PLA. Okay, so those are the, th the three that are going to be fighting against the Portuguese. Now, obviously, what's going to happen is when the Portuguese withdraws, those three kind, those three um, parties are going to be very much um, fighting between each other. Who's going to take on liberated Angola? And that is where Russia and America is going to get involved in, because obviously you're going to have Russia backing one party, and you're going to have um, America backing another party and so forth, and so they're going, they're going to, they're going to um, fight each other through the political parties. Okay, 